our system operation and control. Today we are going to discuss about load frequency control of two area system under that steady state or static analysis. Consider a multi area system, full operation, there are number of areas connected. An interconnected power system is divided into number of control areas for the purpose of load frequency control. Full operation is a mutual assistant between the control areas. They can support the nearby control areas in case of any emergency and critical conditions. For optimal operation of an interconnected power system, the following points to be considered. First one is under normal operating condition, each control area should have capacity to meet its own load from its own spinning generator plus the scheduled interchange between the neighboring areas. In case of emergency or critical condition, the energy can be drawn from the spinning reserves of all the neighboring areas immediately due to the sudden loss of generating units. Now we will see the modeling of two area system. So consider the two area system with the tie line power flow model. A control area is characterized by the frequency throughout the system and the two area system is rigid or strong in practice. In the case of single area, the system could represent it as a frequency deviation by the single variable del f, where in the case of a two area system, we assume that each area is individually strong because it is interconnected with a weak tie line, which leads to the assumption that the frequency deviations in the two area can be represented by two variables del f1 and del f2 respectively. The power system can be divided into number of load frequency control areas interconnected by means of tie lines and the control objective is to regulate the frequency of each area and to regulate the tie line power as per inter area contracts. Now we will discuss about the steady state analysis of two area system the uncontrolled case. Consider the complete block diagram model of load frequency control of a two area power system. So, in this block diagram, this part is area 1 and this part is area 2 and in between you will be having a tie line power flow blocks. So, consider this complete block diagram model. Steady state analysis of two area system, the uncontrolled case. For uncontrolled case, the speed changer input is assumed to be 0. So, del PC1 is equal to del PC2 that is equal to 0. Suppose there is a sudden increase in load demand in the two areas by incremental step, for example, del PD1 and del PD2. The frequency drops in the steady state and this drop will be equal. Del F1 stat is equal to del F2 stat and that is equal to del F stat, the steady state frequency. At the steady state condition, the incremental tie line power del PG1 stat that is equal to minus 1 by R1 into del F stat. This is equation 1 and del PG2 stat equal to minus 1 by R2 into del F stat where R1 and R2 are speed regulation. So, from this complete block diagram, consider the area 1 and we can write the expression for this area considering this summation point del pg1 is coming in del pg1 minus this del pd1 minus del p tai1 into this block kp1 divided by 1 plus stp1 this will be equal to del f stat so here we are talking about the static analysis so we can represent as del f stat so consider that equation here in this substituting Kp is equal to 1 by B that is power system gain where B is the damping coefficient and Tp is equal to 2H by B into F0 which is power system time constant. Substituting this in the previous expression we will be getting this expression and bringing this B1 to the denominator multiplying inside. So, B1 plus S into 2H1 B1. So, B1 and B1 get cancelled. So, you will be getting b1 plus 2 h1s divided by f0 and that is equal to del f stat. So, taking this whole term to this side multiplying it with del f stat. So, first term b1 into del f stat and second one 2 h1s 
f0 into del f strat. Replacing this s in terms of differentiation d by dt. Considering the same equation from the previous slide. So, here this d by dt of del f stat, this uh, the differentiation of this steady state frequency will be equal to 0. So, put d by dt of del f stat equal to 0 for area 1. So, this second term vanishes. So, the remaining expression will be like this. And from this expression, find out del p tai 1 stat. So, del p tai 1 stat, take this del p tai 1 stat to this side. So, it becomes del p tai 1 stat is equal to del p g 1 stat minus del p d 1 stat bringing this b 1 del f stat to this side it become minus b 1 del f stat and this is your third equation. Similarly, for area 2 del p g 2 stat minus del p d 2 minus del p tai 2 stat equal to b 2 del f stat. So, I am writing this equation similar to this equation in area 1 representing area 2 here simply replacing b1 by b2 del p tai 1 by del p tai 2 replacing the area 1 by area 2 so you'll be getting this expression and del p2 stat minus this del p d2 is equal to taking this del p tai 2 stat to that side it become plus del p tai 2 stat now we are going to write this del p tai 2 stat in terms of del p tai 1 stat so multiplying it with minus a12 you will be getting this del p tai 2 stat. So, this we can see in the block diagram. So, in the block diagram you can see this del p tai 2 is equal to minus a 1 2 into del p tai 1. So, if you multiply this you will be getting del p tai 2. So, we are writing del p tai 2 in terms of del p tai 1 in that equation. So, that gives you the fourth equation. Now, substitute the third equation in fourth equation. So, you will see here the third equation. So, we are going to substitute this equation in the fourth equation. So, you will be getting this expression that is your fifth equation. So, considering the fifth equation, now we are going to substitute equation 1 and 2 in this fifth equation. So, in uh, equation 1 and 2, del p g 1 stat equal to minus 1 by r 1 del f stat and del p g 2 stat equal to minus 1 by r 2 into del f stat. Substituting this value in the fifth equation, so, the equation become like this right hand side multiplying this a 1 to inside the bracket from this above expression take del f stat as common. So, here one del f stat term is there here one del f stat del f stat and del f stat. So, four del f stat terms are there take it as common. So, first term is minus 1 by r 2 second term is b 2 taking this b 2 to this side it become minus b 2 and third term is a 1 2 by r 1 taking this a 1 2 by r 1 to that side it become minus a 1 2 by r 1 and this plus a 1 to b 1 taking this to the left hand side it become minus a 1 to b 1. This will be equal to the remaining terms are a 1 to del p d 1 plus this minus del p d 2. So, taking this minus del p d 2 to the right hand side it become plus del p d 2. Now, taking minus sign out from this bracket. So, all the term become plus. So, minus del f stat into b 2 plus 1 by r 2 plus taking a 1 2 common from this two terms a 1 2 into b 1 plus 1 by r 1. That will be equal to a 1 2 del p d 1 plus del p d 2. Del f stat equal to taking this minus to that side minus a 1 to del p d 1 plus del p d 2 whole divided by this complete term that is your sixth equation. So, from the third equation we are going to substitute this del p g 1 stat equal to minus 1 by r 1 into del f stat from the first equation. So, by doing so we will be getting this expression del p tai 1 stat equal to. So, taking this uh, minus del f stat as common. So, it become b 1 plus 1 by r 1 the remaining term is minus del p d 1. So, this is your seventh equation substituting the sixth equation in seventh equation. So, in sixth equation we got the expression for del f stat substituting this in the seventh equation. So, it become like this the complete uh, sixth equation into b 1 plus 1 by r 1 minus del p d 1. Now, taking LCM of this term multiplying this whole denominator 
to this del P D 1. So, del P D 1 into B 2 plus 1 by R 2 minus del P D 1 into A 1 2 into B 1 plus 1 by R 1 whole divided by this LCM term. So, multiplying this bracket B 1 plus 1 by R 1 into A 1 2 del P D 1 then B 1 plus 1 by R 1 into del P D 2 then this term keep as it is and this term also keep as it is. So, here you can cancel out these two terms A 1 to del P D 1 B 1 plus 1 by R 1 and minus A 1 to del P D 1 B 1 plus 1 by R 1. You can cancel out these two terms and the remaining term will be like this. So, now we can uh, replace this B 1 plus 1 by R 1 in terms of beta. Let beta 1 is equal to B 1 plus 1 by R 1 and beta 2 is equal to B 2 plus 1 by R 2. So, replacing that in the previous expression, you will be getting del P tau 1 stat equal to del P d 2 beta 1 minus del P d 1 beta 2 divided by beta 2 plus a 1 to beta 1. So, this is your eighth equation. Now, equation 6 becomes substituting the value of beta here, it become del F stat equal to minus del P d 2 plus a 1 to del P d 1 taking minus as common here and beta 2 plus a 1 to beta 1. So, this is your ninth equation. For two identical areas, beta 1 is equal to beta 2 that is equal to beta and the speed regulation r 1 is equal to r 2 equal to r and the damping coefficient b 1 is equal to b 2 is equal to b and this uh, power ratio a 1 to is equal to p r 1 by p r 2 and that is equal to 1 for the identical areas. So, del F start become substituting a 1 to is equal to 1 and beta 1 is equal to beta 2 that is equal to beta it become 2 into beta and for the tie line power and del P tau 1 stat is equal to minus del P tau 2 stat that is equal to del P d 2 minus del P d 1 divided by 2. So, taking uh, the beta from the numerator and denominator as common and cancel out that beta so, you will be getting this expression. So, assume that a load disturbance occurs in only one area, it is clear that with del P d 1 is equal to 0 or del P d 2 is equal to 0, the frequency deviation become del F naught, which is only half of the steady state error that would have occurred had the areas not been interconnected. So, thus reducing the steady state frequency error. So, this is a steady state or static analysis of load frequency control of a two area power system.